display this USS sword, we have a brass brass scabbard here. You see I've taken some metal glow to it, so you might see a little bit of fingerprints on it, but if you polish it up real good, it can be nice and shiny. The blade itself, you'll see it's a back sweat blade. We have this print adorned decorations here. This is all sharp, all the way up the main edge. And a sweeping blade going all the way back. Pronounced as something like a shamshir or even like a scimitar. You'll see it has a little bit of a back sweep, so your initiation is very fast as you come forward. And maybe a little bit slower, but the blade is so skinny, as you can see, almost honestly like a lot of rapiers even. Really a slashing type of tool here. Notice the handle. We have this really, really nice grip, almost like a up, like a U right here. That keeping the hand hand very secure. The pinky rests right up against the little piece of the guard, piece of the grip here. And you'll see we have a short, kind of tall war-ish, almost like Indian influenced handguard. Short handguard, really just to keep your hand from going up on thrusting, and just really encapsules the hand near the pinky side. So on the main edge, you'll see that it's fully sharpened. These don't come fully sharpened at all, actually. They come unsharpened. Uh, we added a sharpening service to it. And if you want that as an option for purchasing this blade, you can do that on cultofathena.com. There's a little button you can click and a little check mark. That way you can add that if you want to do the sharpening service. You'll also see on the very back edge here, this little notch. On this little notch here, going forward all the way to the tip, is all sharp. So this has all been fully sharpened. And once again, when you get this, it's not gonna be fully sharpened at all. It's gonna be an unsharpened blade, so make sure you add the sharpening service. Why the back edge? We've mentioned it before in videos. It is for more of whipping strikes. It is also when you have the thrust, you can pull the thrust out. It doesn't matter if it's forehand or it's backhand or it's up the center line. It doesn't matter. It is a manipulation type of strike, kind of like, kind of like a hook almost. And this being kind of like a reverse sickle, it actually works very well. Easy to get back to, doesn't matter if it's a one-handed blade, it's very easy to maneuver in the hand and also recover the slash here. This is one of my more favorite sabers. I'm not a fan of all sabers, especially big heavier ones. Um, I don't like the fact that you can't really recover them as fast. So we're gonna do some cut testing with this one, do a few close-up looks, and we'll get right to the cut testing. Let's get to it. It pulled a little bit, but you can see it basically went all the way through. I'm gonna set this thing back up again and take another cut at it. All right, I'm good. Look how deep the cut is getting from doing that sharpening service. It's like a mouth. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, the USS British General Sabre, the 1831 Sabre, cuts really well, really well balanced blade. I really, really like how long the back edge is on this and also the shape of the blade. If you enjoyed this blade, go ahead and click the link in the description below. I'll take you directly to cultofathian.com to purchase this blade. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and... I'll talk to you soon.